I've known Anthony for a long time. He's a Ford dealer that sells more Ford GTs than probably anybody in Canada. And he's passionate about racing and about cars. He races a 66 Shelby. We've done some endurance races together in Europe. He just loves cars. So when he told me he was gonna to go to the track with his new Ford GT and a comp car to boot, I said, listen, I'll bring the old comp car, the 1969 P1080, and an 05, and we'll do a comparison back to back. He was all for it. Hey, oh. how are you, man? How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. You brought the hot rod? Yeah, I brought the new GT. Wow. It's uh, full of gas. Yours are probably empty. <laughs> <laughs> Typical car dealer. Yeah. Huh? So this is the comp car. Huh? Yeah, yeah, very rare car. Only a few of these on the planet. So what's different? Well, this car is lighter than the normal Ford GT, and it's made more for the track. What I'd love to do today, you drive mine, I drive yours? That sounds like a lot of fun. I've never driven an original GT40. It, and I've never driven one of these at the track yet, so let's get them unloaded. This sure. is going to be a ton of fun. It's going to be fun. Yeah. So I see you don't want to talk, you just want to drive. <laughs> okay, tell me. I haven't driven one of these yet. If you have it in track mode, yes. you have to shift it or will it shift even if you forgot? Like you you, you have to shift you it. We have it in manual right now. Right. So no, you have to shift it. You're the driver. It's definitely a little different than driving the 66, I'm sure. Oh, it is. Absolutely. on the brakes there. Yeah. Oh, stops a little better well, than the other one. the 1966, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> this actually has some nice big honking Brembo brakes. I didn't know we were testing for Le Mans today, but I would have brought my race suit if I had to <laughs> that. It is a nice car, Isn't huh? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Man, oh man. Now, you guys service all of these cars, don't you? Absolutely, yeah. We've been servicing them. But we're the biggest dealer in 06. We sold 15 new. We went from there. And we're we've uh, we have a total of nine of these cars coming in. Wow, nine of these. Yeah. You know what else I can't get over? Because they're what three three and a half liter. Yes, 3.5 so, liter. Same motor as in. Yeah, virtually the same motor as in the Raptor. And what sort of horsepower? This car here is 657 horsepower. It feels like a, I mean, it pulls like a frickin' big eight cylinder. It does. Huh? I know. I'm not sure you're gonna like the uh, old 66. Oh, I'm <laughs> sure I'm gonna love it. That was my dream car when I was just a little kid, so I'm sure I'm gonna like driving it. up to all my expectations. <laughs> 1969 GT Ford, it's beautiful. I love it. I just love everything about it. Now it's my turn to get into a car. So he gave me the 05, naturally. It's the cheapest car. It'll be the least amount of damage if I go off. The original GT40 is an expensive car, anywhere from three to 20 million. It's a hard car to drive fast. The brand new GT40, also an expensive car and you have to be on Ford's good guy list. But it's a super easy car to drive fast. Auto blip, don't even have to lift with the upshift. And this car really falls somewhere in the middle. You know, relatively inexpensive compared to the other two, right around $300,000 to get one of these. Stick shift, still have to use a clutch, and no traction control. Makes it a little bit fun on the track. Okay, despite what I said, 
this thing can still have a stick shift and be a supercar, but only because it's not a Ferrari. Although the car is a North American car, it definitely drives differently than a mid-engine car. You can get the car sideways in every corner and it's a ton of fun. And if you're feeling like Zanardi, just stay in it. From an overall perspective on these cars, what a great investment. They're already doubled in price, 150 grand, and they're now worth about $300,000. The thing is a legitimate supercar. Go out to the racetrack, beat the crap out of it, and then take it to a Ford dealership for an oil change. What an incredible day. Getting to drive an original lightweight GT40, an 05 Ford GT, and the brand new 4 GT and compare them all back to back on the racetrack. And then to top it all off, getting to drive an Enzo on the street. In all my years, this has been the best 48 hours at Legendary Motor Car that I have ever had.